Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for uh, the 7th, July 7th. So we're just going to see what happens. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. The Emperor. So this has to do with a very masculine energy. Um, somebody that is uh, in a position of authority. This could be a father. This could be a boss. This could be a husband, a business owner. This is somebody that is very dominant, that uses his head, not his heart. Uh, bases his decision on facts seems a little distant perhaps this could be a judge or a ruler he's definitely a decision maker this is a provider this guy shows no weakness he's ready for battle at all times um, he's a very tough exterior okay this is a fighter okay this person is a fighter it feels as though he is thinking about something he has a plan. It looks like he is just waiting for the moment. He's relaxing at the moment. Uh, he's in deep thought. It looks like he's in deep thought. He is ready for a battle, though. You notice he's got his armor on. He is ready. He's ready to go at a moment's notice, okay? I think that he's been waiting for the call, okay? He's been waiting for the call. He's been waiting for the moment to jump and, and run or to go or whatever. Um... He's definitely a protector of some sort. He's in a high position, put it that way. Um, he calls the shots. This guy calls the shots. Um, and he's waiting though, but he's so he's but he's waiting for because I can see that he's waiting. This is this is a man or a masculine that um, you know, it looks like usually it's the world in his hands, but we have this ball. It looks like he um, it's like the, this is an opportunity to, uh, it has to do with a whole new world, something like that. Um, that's what I wanted to say. Something to do with the world. He's making a decision that will affect, it could affect his family, it could affect his children as well. Um, it probably will affect his children. It has to do with his children, I think. Um, anyway, this guy is in a position of authority. He He's waiting for the moment. Ooh. Ah, so these are both fathers. So I'm not sure if we're dealing with a father. Um, but the high priest is, or the hierophant in reverse, is, is a father that is questioning his authority. Okay? He is. He's questioning. It's interesting. This guy is thinking. You know, he's questioning his authority. This is somebody that may be disgraced, okay? Um, not very spiritual. He may be in a, in a relationship, or he may not be, that is no longer on the same page. You notice there's no feminine in this card. He's alone, okay? So he's, he's, he may be feeling disgraced, okay? This person is having a hard time doing the right thing due to social pressure, Okay, this person is really, really struggling. He's questioning his authority. So we have a masculine that is questioning his authority right now. He is. He he also is in some sort of sort of fear. Okay, he lacks faith. He's not very spiritual. Okay, and he's been disgraced in some sort of way. And he's normally a protector. And when a protector gets disgraced. They can do things that are uh, unconventional, put it that way. Do things that are even are that are against the law to try to regain that um, good name, put it that way. Um, to get rid of that disgrace. So anyway, the Hierophant in reversed is is uh, somebody that is breaking the rules. Uh, they do the opposite of what they say. They don't believe in the higher power. They don't listen to their gut. This is all about being in control. It's all about winning. It's all about being in that position of authority. So this we do have an individual here that is 
feeling disgraced over something that has happened. Ah, uh, now this Eight of Pentacles, this, this is putting in effort, working really hard, uh, shining something up, getting ready for something. This, we have an individual that is, um, making something. This guy, this person is making something. They've, remember I said that there's something to do with plans has been investigating, is getting ready to do something. Burning the midnight oil, investigating. Somebody is, is trying to do, is getting ready to do something. They're, it's almost like they're about ready to put their creation to work, whatever that means. Nine of Cups reversed. Now, this is very dissatisfied. We have somebody here that has gotten a blow to their ego. Okay? And they have. They have. And they are very much unhappy. Very dissatisfied. Okay? It's like their wish wasn't granted. And they're feeling disgraced. They're definitely not happy. Um... A lot of disgrace here. Now we got the five of pentacles. Okay. And this is, we got disgrace. We have a masculine that is feeling disgraced and he's embarrassed. This nine of cups reversed is very unhappy. Having a hard time moving on. Ooh, ooh, now this is about financial stability, okay? This, this, this masculine energy is all about stability, all about financial stability, all about obsessed, very obsessed, very greedy. We have a miser here. This person is very, very stubborn, doesn't want to let go, wants to hold on to some sort of stability, okay? It's holding on for, or was holding on for stability, for, for money, okay? Something to do with money. This person is a very spiritual, okay? This is all about money. It is all about money. It's all about holding on to the money, holding on to stability, Oh my God, Four of Swords. Now this is a, this is like, uh, this feels like it's some sort of plot. I feel like we have somebody here that is plotting. They're plotting something. Um, this is the death of a person or idea, the Four of Swords is. This is fed up, exhausted, not happy. This is ill, and it could even be mentally ill. We could have somebody that is mentally ill. Um, this is... Uh, uh, feeling dead inside, feeling empty inside, uh, not wanting to let go. So we have somebody here that doesn't want to let go of the money, doesn't want to let go of the stability, uh, is ready to fight. So there's something going on here, something about a fight. Uh, Ten of Cups. Now there's a relationship that has ended. Tens are completions. I know a lot of readers want to make it out to be something beautiful, but it does end in beauty. Okay, because when one thing ends, another things begin. Another thing begins, but the ten, tens are completions. So we have the end of a relationship here. It really is the end. It's the end of a of a, a situation that was probably happy at one time. At one time, it, it was beautiful. It was great, but it's over. Tens are completions, and that's why this person is so not happy, so dissatisfied. Okay, because something has ended. The happily ever after has ended. Okay, so, and they want to hold on to it. So we have somebody here that wants to hold on and they're very distraught. It feels like they're feeling isolated. They're feeling alone. They're feeling dead and empty inside. They may be experiencing some health issues. Um, and they're plot, plotting something. I know that this person is plotting something. Okay, they, this person has some tricks up their sleeve. This person definitely is sneaking. They're sneaking away. Or they're sneaking. They're doing something behind the scenes. They're, they got some tricks up their sleeves.
sorry, I had to wait for that to go. This the whoever this person is 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 plotting and planning. They are coming up with a strategy to probably get the relationship back or to do something. They're coming up with some sort of strategy to do what? This guy is very very cunning. He's 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 like you, you he thinks he knows it all. This person thinks that he knows it all. Oh my god. The page of swords reverse. This is a, this is somebody that is watching, somebody that is spying. Um this is like this is like an enemy. I think that this is this is a enemy at the gate that this person is very very agitated and they it feels like they're coming to uh, they're ready to fight. They're ready to fight. They they're going to they're going to do something. It's like here he's got it. He's coming. He pulls it out. Something is going on. King of Swords. King of Swords does what he wants to do. He knows what he has to do and he just does it. This is firm leadership out to harm you. Somebody may be... Oh my God, I'm not sure what is going on here. But we, you, I think that you definitely need to be careful. We have a very uh, smart, intelligent individual here that has some tricks up their sleeve. Okay? And it feels as though they are... They may be watching. They may be... Uh, plannings, they are planning something. They are planning something. They're planning to... Uh, now, this Ten of Cups is a relationship, and that's a completion. This is like a... This is a... That's the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. It's communicate. This guy uh, knows what he wants and there's no stopping him. There is no stopping him. He is, once his decision is made, his decision is made. We haven't, and the same with the emperor. And we're, I think we're talking about a father type of figure, figure that is, uh, he's made some sort of decision. He's made a decision. There could be a message coming that you don't want to hear. This person has has slipped away. They've stolen something. They've taken something. They've left. Um, this person is very, very cunning, very sneaky. They slip away. They're very slippery. Okay, this the Seven of Swords is very slippery. Now, this is this is a. Uh, uh, thief of some sort this is a con it is a con man we have a we have a very intelligent con man that is very sneaky and slippery very greedy as well He's going to be taking some sort of approach. He doesn't have a lot of fear. This is a fearless individual. Nine of swords reversed. There is somebody that does not have good intentions at all. They do not have good intentions at all. They are, and this person knows, knows, and they're very worried about this person coming around. I feel like this person is, is lurking, and I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but they're, they're like, they're lurking. This person is getting away with some sort of, uh, tricks this is definitely a trickster very smart very 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 skilled very skilled at deception totally not prepared somebody is totally 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 not prepared for this uh, this is like an enemy at the gate. It really is the Page of Swords.
This is lack of foresight. Seriously, not prepared. There's going to be a spur of the moment decision that is made. Somebody is going to make a decision all of the sudden. All of a sudden. To go in a new direction or do something. I mean, this is a spur of the moment decision to turn their back. And there's going to be a message that, that is delivered that somebody has snuck away perhaps or in the middle of the night. Something is going on here. There's abandonment. Five of Pentacles is abandonment. Somebody may be abandoning. They may be abandoning another person. They're they're choosing to turn their back and, and go someplace else. It happens all of a sudden. And this person, it's like this person is sleeping and they don't even know it. There's There's been a delay of some sort. Tower, permanent loss. Tower reverse. This is a permanent loss. A sudden departure. This is a this is a is health problems, extreme health problems, a massive fight, a painful change that you never saw coming. Somebody's probably gonna be moving. Something happens all of a sudden. There could be some sort of explosion. It could be an internal one. This is the decision. Somebody is making a decision to, and it, I don't know what the hell is going on. If it, there's a bomb going off or what. Because this would be making something. Somebody could be making a bomb. Stay home. Or not. Because this could be a home. Anyway, this person thinks they're going to get away with it. Whoever thinks they're going to get away with it, they will not get away with it. The law will catch them. The law will catch them. Anyhow, there is some sort of, of, of uh, heartache here. There's going to be a separation. This is, this is painful. This is a painful separation. That is all of a sudden. It is definitely all of a sudden. All of a sudden, there's some sort of uh, rude awakening. Okay, somebody's about to get a rude awakening um, that they never, ever, ever saw coming. And it happens at night. It does happen at night. I feel like we have an individual that is disgraced. They are disgraced. And they have been planning to make a move. They have. They have. And they are going to make their move. But it feels like they're going to get caught as well. I feel like they're going to get caught. So anyway. Um, be prepared to hear a message this is a, the page of swords is a message that you don't want to hear this is a message a conflict okay a conflicting message it's not good news a message that you're not prepared to hear it's going to hurt so anyway um Somebody is abandoning ship. Letting go of their responsibilities. There could be some thieving going on as well.
Anyway, um, good luck.